So by looking at this one in my head, I'm looking at x plus 1 times x squared plus 2x plus 7. And again, guys, obviously you don't need to like write, rewrite this out. I'm just kind of showing you what I, in my head, immediately what I'm like visualizing. I'm visualizing this, and I'm thinking, all right, this is, is this the derivative of chain rule, right? Did I, did I take this function? Or did I take a function and take the derivative of it? That means this is the derivative of that. And I look at that and I say, yes, it is, at least with the x. The only thing I'm missing is, again, a 2, right? So therefore, if when I take the derivative of this, I'm missing that 2. So what I need to do is I need to counteract that 2. And basically what I'm doing is I'm looking into what is the derivative um, or now I just lost my total train of thought. Now I'm looking into integrating. Now I just got to integrate u to the negative third power. So if I was going to add one, that'd give me u to the negative second, or 1 over negative 2. And therefore, this would be then the inside function, which is x squared plus 2x plus 7 to the negative second. Oh, I already integrated that, didn't I? All right, so you could write it like that, or you could have negative 1 fourth times x squared. Oops. Let's do that over. OK. So that's what I did in my head. Let's just go and verify this the slow way by using u substitution. Again, if I was going to use u substitution, I would say, all right, I have kind of two functions going on here. And again, rather than looking at it as a rational, if I re represent it like this, I can say, I have this function and that function. right? The one that has a function inside of its other function is right here. And that inside function is u, which is x squared plus 2x plus 7. Therefore du over dx is equal to, um, sorry, 2x oh, um, plus 2. Now, if I look at this, do I have a 2x plus 2? No, right? I don't. du, I can't represent this. However, could I do this? Could I say du equals 2 times x plus 1? Oops, I'm sorry. That's dx. 2 times x plus 1 dx. Now do I have an x plus 1? Yes, the only thing I don't have is my 2. So I need to counteract that by having a 1 half. And then I'm integrating u to the negative third power and du. Do you guys agree that these two are exactly the same expression? Because that's what you need to understand as far as the 1 half. Those are the exact same expressions. If I didn't include that 1 half, these would not be the exact same expressions. That's why we have to have that 1 half there. Right? No? Yes. You can ask questions now. You have to have that 1 half there. Because if you didn't, I mean, again, this is x plus 1 dx. Hey, we got x plus 1 dx. We don't have the 2, though. So if we're going to replace this with du, we basically got to divide the 2 over to the other side. That's why we have to have that 1 half. And again, I could put this as like 1 half du, but I'm just going to, we like to put it over there because when I go ahead and integrate this, I could just throw the 1 half out, right? So I could rewrite this as 1 half of u to the negative third du. Now I go ahead and integrate this. I get 1 half. That's going to be times negative 1 half times um, or integrate uh, integral of u to the negative second du. And then I just plug everything back in. And I'm not going to write it like that. I'll just write it as, oh, did I not integrate? Yeah, I did. OK. 2x plus 7 plus c. Why what? Why 
Why am I not substituting in the DU? Sorry, I forgot to write that down. So, from here to here, what are you, if I'm going to integrate something with respect to you, I got, if I'm going to integrate something with you, I got to have du, right? So then it basically says, well, what does du equal? But, but that's not what the problem is. The original problem is just d is just x squared plus 1 dx. See what I'm saying? You can't just say, oh, I'm just going to write du here. Because look at what du equals. du equals 2 times x plus 1. We don't have 2 times x plus 1. We only have x plus 1. That is why I have to include that 1 half. Or another way to look at it is if you're replacing the dx, right? You're replacing this dx. Or it's divided by 2 on both sides. You could say 1 half du is equal to x plus 1 dx. So again, we have an x plus 1 and we have the dx. What is x plus 1 dx equal to? 1 half du. I'm just not writing them together because we like to have the constant in front. But if you want me to write them together, I'll write them together. So what I'm doing is, again, I'm saying, all right, this is equal to u to the negative third, where u is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 7. du is equal to, or 1 half du is equal to x plus 1 dx, which covers that. So follow me. If I have this, you guys agree that u to the negative third covers this. That's covered, right? I can rewrite that as u to the negative third, where u is equal to that. So now I need to cover x dx and x plus 1. So when I take the derivative of my inside function, I get close to it. I get x plus 1 and dx. But I got this extra 2 here. So I got to uh, so correct that. And that's why we include the 1 half. That's where that 1 half is so important. All right. Yes, no, maybe so. You guys just want to try some trig to make it easier?